In addition to the HQ-9BE, the HQ-17AE is an advanced short-range air defense missile vehicle. It launches missiles vertically and is highly integrated. It has independent combat capabilities for target search, tracking and missile launching while moving. It can launch four missiles to intercept four different targets at the same time, a single vehicle equipped with eight missiles. This weapon system is very distinctive. On the back there is a search radar that can search for air target. In the front, there is a tracking and guiding radar so it can accurately track and lock air targets to guide the missile hitting the target. Both are rotating in 360 degrees to cover a full field of view. In the same way, the FK-2000 air defense missile weapon system was also exhibited for the first time here. This vehicle integrates missiles, anti-aircraft artillery, radar and photoelectric equipment. As a short-range defense system, it can effectively intercept air-to-surface missiles, precision-guided bombs, fixed-wing aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles within a range of 25 kilometers. The vehicle has the ability to fight while moving. It can search for and find targets at speeds greater than 20 kilometers per hour, and launch missiles or use artillery to effectively intercept targets. Therefore, this system can be used for defense bases and important sites, and also used to accompany field troops in air defense. It is an integrated battle vehicle. Just like the HQ-17AE, it also integrates two radars, plus an optoelectric device, six missiles on each side, and two anti-aircraft guns. It is a six-barrel 30mm anti-aircraft gun, and can fire thousands of rounds per minute, so I also call it a super chariot or battle vehicle. As an all-weather short-range terminal air defense system, the FK-2000 system integrates multiple killing methods. It can autonomously search and find targets while on the move, launch missiles or artillery shells, and perform accompanying field air defense missions. A single vehicle can effectively destroy multiple targets such as cruise missiles, helicopters, fixed-wing planes, quad-rotor or multi-rotor UAVs with a defense radius of 25 kilometers, and can also effectively strike ground targets. This is a chariot-style integrated missile system. This combat vehicle has missiles, anti-aircraft guns, radar and light detection and ranging integrated into one. We can complete an air defense combat mission in one vehicle. Its defensive radius is 25 kilometers. It can effectively intercept helicopter gunships, drones, air-to-surface missiles, cruise missiles, and precision-guided bombs within a range of 25 kilometers. It looks very complex, but there is a need for only three people to operate. Let's take a look at the inside of the cab. Wow, it's the first time I've seen such a cab. This is the driver's seat. There are two seats over there with three consoles. We call them the operator seats. There is no power plug here now, sorry you can't see it all. On the right is the light detection and ranging console, in the middle is the radar system console, and near the driving position is the launch console. It is now set to launch manually, but other processes such as tracking and guidance are all automatic. This system will give threat warning prompts and threat rankings, and give which target is the most threatening. That way the launcher can lock onto that target first to fire. Wow, it can also intelligently give you some suggestions and target threat ranking. Yes, it is a function of auxiliary decision making. With these three seats, one driver and other two persons can operate the entire system. Is this particularly complicated to operate? No, actually, it's kind of like we play video games. How long does it take for someone like two of us to be trained to operate? For just be able to operate, and it may take only half a day to learn. Three people can operate it and learn it in half a day. This highly integrated, maneuverable, and survivable anti-aircraft combat vehicle was an eye-opener for the two military fans.